Jeez. Okay, guys, here it is. Mm -hmm. P1000. Now that's the 125 yeah. times optical zoom, 3000 millimeter Ooh, digital. Look at it. Yeah, person? look at that thing. All right, now let's take a look side that's a side. lens there. I was comparing the two to the P900. It's quite a bit bigger, much heavier. But anyway, here's some Watch footage. Nice clear night tonight. Watch a nice clear night tonight. Pretty clear doing this. Is that a coyote? That sounds like dogs. It could be coyotes. Now it's not quite dark out. The bottom of that wow. As yet. I was just zooming in on the moon. Back up to the arch. Anyhow, I may get one more try later. Yeah, that Makes arch, uh, I'll come back after it's darker so I can get a more there. clear shot. An arch is that crater. Yeah. It's a shadow trick or something, I guess. I don't know. It's a fascinating. Anomaly. This was a star. <laughs> I mean, what is that? Yeah, I don't. I'm, you know, there's two of these things real close together. I don't know what stars they are. Um, have you ever watched Diversity J's channel? She uh, she'll lay the uh, star map over these things so you can see which ones they are. But I just. I haven't had a chance to do any settings changes. This is pretty much straight out of the box. I did set it to 4K. Yeah, look at that star. It's, uh, it looks more like a spacecraft to me, huh. but it's supposed to be a star. So anyway, here we go. This is, I think, later in the evening. I went back outside, and as you can see, the uh, picture is more crisp than. Okay. Uh, one from the daytime. Um, so yeah, there's the, the uh, what I call the arch, the moon Look arch. That. Of course, it's part of that huge Look crater the there. Arch. Wow. Um, yeah, my P1000 came in a day. I did notice a few people got theirs ahead of me, and uh, so I've already seen some of the footage. Look at that! Wow. It's a little shaky because it's so zoomed in. I'm gonna eventually get a stabilizer. I mean, I, I still, that's still uh, so weird to me. To add on to my program, editing program, maybe, look at that, to maybe smooth some of that out. That arch, you, last time I filmed it, it was on top, so. Yeah, it was on top last time I uh, seen it, so. The moon definitely um, does a, uh, you know, partial rotation. Some say it's perspective, you know, maybe so. I mean, I don't know. To me, it looks like it's turning. But, yeah, see, this is still during the daytime. I don't know the, the, oh, I hope the camera's sunset. picking that up. That's just so cool looking. All the way up to the moon yeah. over here. It's cool, but wow! I gotta go in there. It's, uh, Mosquitoes are not they're feasting. Normal. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Not looking. from uh, you know. Let me see if I gotta pull it in all the way. When I was growing up, anyway, I've never seen sunsets like this. You got a star okay, up there too. The star at? I'm not sure what it's star that is, but I'm fixing to zoom in on it here in just a second. Zoom in a little bit to get the. Look how blue that sky is. It's just, it's oh, there's beautiful. a mosquito right in front of the viewfinder. But the pink right. is, uh, and the rays is what uh, right. was so, you know, striking about this uh, sunset I was filming here. But, uh, yeah, the moon's already out. It's about half, a little more. There's a star up above it that's popping through too. Let's see which one. I'm going after the bottom one here. And like I said, if you guys want to know the names of these stars, you know, watch uh, 
you can follow Diversity J's channel. She does a really good job of uh, labeling these stars, which I don't have time to do it. I may later. I, I don't. I probably not, because I'm mainly after the the flying phenomenon stuff. You know the. The crazier stuff, but I do enjoy um, uh, filming the stars and stuff because uh, they're all so more different than what uh, was in the science books and things as I was growing up and on, of course, on you know the channels, Discovery Channel, etc. You got things. Got got a hole donut. In the it. So I question what stars what really stars? are, you know. Luminaries, See, of course. Of um, she, would have that, she would have that info for you, where I don't. And, uh, yeah, I she don't she's uh, she does more professional I'm presentation more than, than I do. Um, stuff that I do. And I like the way she presents. So taking the time to label this stuff, so I can safely recommend her channel. She keeps it pretty clean. I have to be careful anymore. What is that? I guess that's a plane going across there. Yeah, it must be a plane. Yeah, I have to be careful. Um, yeah, this was during the daytime, so I'm going to come back to it after dark and uh, shoot it again it'll be more clear but uh, yeah as I was saying I have to be more careful about recommending channels because you know, what happens a lot of times is uh, I watch a later video and the uh, there'll be like the F-bombs and stuff and uh, I mean nothing against those that use the language is uh, for each his own you know but I as I stated before, I have nieces and nephews that, and they watch my channel. And if I recommend a channel, and they go over, uh, then uh, you know I don't want to be a part of uh, you know them being exposed to that kind of language and stuff. So I just going to be more careful. I mean, that's why I'm pretty selective, or I'm going to be pretty selective. On channels I recommend. Of course, there's safe ones. I mean, like Demon Hunter's channel. He's uh, that's one thing about his channels. He keeps it clean and shooting stars and the P900. Let's go over here and see if this is Jupiter. Let's see. Yeah, one thing about this P1000 is the faint stars. I, it's so much easier to pull them in like those two I just pulled in but now I can here you go here's Jupiter when it was after it dark is. it's a little better yeah, um, but like I said this is basically out of the box oh, wow, I haven't, what's that? Oh, what's that? something blinking over here what was that? I guess that was a, what? Oh, I guess that was a plane did y'all see that blink? I think I'm still anyway on yeah the settings are pretty much out of the yeah. box um, it'll get better as I learn more about this camera. Stuff that's dimly lit, like the stars, it's a lot easier to get the stars you know, pulled out. Here's on with, uh, I don't know what's underneath it, Mars maybe. Here's a couple of them weird stars. Colorful. Not shaped like a star, or what we've been taught anyway. Um, I find them fascinating, uh... You know, the way they, some of them change and morph and change shapes and stuff, but frequencies, you know, I mean, I think there's a good chance that uh, this uh, liquid, um, possibly above the firmament, because that's what it looks like if you've seen those videos where they're vibrating that water on a speaker or, or uh, uh, little grains of sand or whatever how it makes patterns and that's what this totally looks like and reminds me of and uh, when you see a pool and you see the light in the pool you know the, pool, the pools have the lights and you just look at the way that that light shines in that water that it's uh, it's a familiar uh, look and it reminds me of 
what these stars and things look like sometimes. Like that's a frequency uh, thing going on there. See? Yeah, look, it's oh, changing look what shapes. So, now that I can. Oh, I gotta uh, go here. Near the end of the video here, but I'm just throwing this in. It looks like something's spinning down there. But, um, so now that I can pull these stars in, I will be. Um, be able to film more of the stars that I couldn't get earlier and the ones that are fascinating interesting strange weird I will be sharing those uh, but yeah I shot this with the new P1000 as well I just you know just some interesting cloud movement but I'm showing this because I've had a few commenters ask me what um, cameras I use and things and um, this is the little B700 it shoots uh, 4k 60 times optical zoom and for the money it's a pretty good camera so someone on a budget wanting to get something they could shoot with this is the one I would recommend because it's around 400 I believe and it's a handy little camera this is the one I carry in my car because it's uh, it's just a little compact thing you know and uh, cool pics B700 Nikon and here's the the beast the P1000 125 times optical 3000 millimeter digital it's got yeah, an OLED nice. um, viewfinder uh, it's got an OLED um, LED screen is basically standard it doesn't have touch which is fine with me it's got that little wheel I'm hoping that um, I can use um, to get a better focus on these drones it's a little focus wheel um, I hadn't used it yet I gotta go in and find the settings that work for me to make that thing active but look at that zoom that's yeah that's clean zoom I think I'm gonna catch some interesting stuff with this camera. Just a little bit I've used it, I can already tell. I did catch one of those weird planes, but I'm not showing it here. It's basically the same type of thing I've caught before, but uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm gonna be catching some stuff with this. Y'all stay tuned, because it does, it has quite a bit more zoom than the P900 photographer. All right, that's it, folks. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Y'all take care.